all suited up, ready to go. We're in a car park in an undisclosed location. I will tell you it's on the west coast of the Northland and uh, kayaks here already. Got the bro chase. <laughs> Cheeky little west coast dive mission. Target species, crayfish and power and kinnets. breeze here that'll push us down the harbour quite nicely. Probably hurt us on the way home but what the hell. Oh man. Oh man. Oh man. Look at this beautiful place. It's super, super hot, but we're out here. The bar crossing was interesting, let's just say that. We didn't get broken on, but the waves are certainly up a little. Um, they look pretty good now we're out of it, but it must just be the way the ocean floor is there, just really wrapped everything up. Well, we're gonna paddle out. We're gonna go around this point and further along a bit. Then we'll be finally getting in. I'm hot, I need to get in. first dive was just a quick anchor check. Uh, we chucked the anchor out, I thought I'd hit the side of the reef but um, obviously I hadn't so just sort of dived down, checked the anchor, saw it was on the sand, so picked it up and headed up to the surface to go and tow the kayak back to the reef and put it on the reef. I always like to put the anchor on the reef when I'm out west, it's uh, always going to hold that little bit better. Bro, the fizz is mean. I'm gonna tow you back to the reef. Once I had the kayak all anchored and on the side of the reef, I dropped down. Um, I'd seen a kingy while anchoring the kayak, but uh, the gun was still on the kayak, so uh, I was pretty hopeful here. But dropped down, looked under this thing for grays and whatnot, and uh, noticed a school of quite big trevally. So just sat there, managed to line one up, and get a shaft into it. sitting in it. Managed to get a pretty decent grab on this one and uh, looked over and 
managed to get a good grab on that one too so that was two for that dive and uh, I was pretty happy with that Follow Chase down for the next dive, and um, he's had a go at a cray here and hasn't got it. So I've sort of gone down, had a look along, and they've all pretty much retreated deep. You can see a couple here, but uh, they're fairly small, so yeah, I carry along the crack looking, but um, yeah, don't find anything else. further along we find this um, pretty good area here, uh, kind of like the corner, there's pretty good crack that runs through it, and I'd actually dropped down before this and, and seen there were a few crays there so I'd gone back up to breathe up, and basically I wanted to get four out of this lot because I've seen there was quite a few, um, and four would have been the rest of my limit, I would have been able to get my limit on two dives, so that first cray I've just grabbed there, Stuffed him under my armpit. Sort of went along, just looking for good craze really. Um, you know, uh, didn't want any small ones, so managed. This guy, he went under my armpit as well. Um, and then this one went into my left hand. And then I grabbed the fourth one. But uh, on the way up, I managed to bump into the rock and. One of the crays that was under my armpit slipped out, so I only ended up with three. Oh, fuck! I got three! I had four! <laughs> fuck, there's heaps there, eh? Got away, that would have been my limit. I've only got one more to go, I got my limit. The next dive, I followed Chase down again, and um, he managed to get a pretty reasonable cray here, but uh, dropped it. Um, so I still had one more to go for my limit, so I just sort of had a bit of a look around. Lined up one that sort of wasn't with all the rest, so I didn't disturb all the rest, and uh, grabbed that. And uh, that was my limit of craze done. Bro, wait for me to put this in the bag, and next time you dive, tap me on the shoulder. Take your time, they can't go anywhere. You know that where that one that scooted away from me went to? They're all bunched up there, they've got nowhere to go. You can take your time. Just wait for me to come back. I followed Chase down again, sort of really wanted to 
film him getting a cry. We found one in this little nest here. Nice easy grab. I saw this big one here and I was sort of trying to point to him to have a go at the big one as well but uh, he decided he was going back to the surface so I just sort of had, had a little bit of a look around and um, yeah man there were just so many crays here. Awesome to see, awesome to see, and uh, not really f very much places for them to go. It was uh, one of those short holes where they couldn't all disappear, so uh, quite a lucky find really. Oh, well, since I had my limit, I decided I'd leave, and I started breaking up a few uh, mussels or kutai, and just chucking them over the, over the ledge here. This was fairly close to where we'd found that big nest of crays. And uh, chucked a few over and left it for a little bit, came back over for a look. Was kind of hoping for a snapper, we'd seen a few. But anyway, as I sort of dropped over the ledge, I saw a unmistakable shape um, and dropped down in on it. I love these guys, they're absolutely fantastic eating. And I managed to get a pretty good shot into it. Went down and grabbed it, made sure I could get the shaft out the other side and it wasn't going to slip off the spear or anything silly. And uh, back to the surface we went. After Chase had finished getting the craze, I actually went back there, kind of thought that there might be a few legs or that kicking around, they might bring some snapper in, so just sort of looking over the ledge and yeah, sure enough, the snapper came racing up to me. I'd seen quite a few better ones though, so I sort of left that. Uh, went back up to the surface and dropped a couple of kutai. Basically, as soon as I dropped the kutai, I had a couple of snapper come racing in on it, right under me. Um, and I didn't really have much hope here of, of getting anything, but I just thought oh, I'll dive on it and see what happens. And um, yeah, they were so engrossed in competing for that kutai, they weren't too worried about me, and I managed to get down and get a shot on this guy. Got a nice shot. Uh, not a not a big snapper by by any stretch of the imagination, but still a good eating fish. So I actually pulled it in and, and um, ickied it and gutted it and um, just dropped the guts where I was. And uh, as soon as I dropped the guts, more snapper came racing in on them. So I dropped again. Um, had like quite a reasonable snapper here that I'm looking at. Got a shaft into it and it was actually a really poor shot, um, quite high, but luckily, luckily the spear had gone all the way through it, I think it probably would have ripped out um, if it had just been in the spear, but the spear managed to go all the way through so I had a bit of a prolonged fight with it because I was being quite gentle, didn't want to really pull it too hard. Just took my time, eased it in, and uh, wasn't wasn't a bad snapper this one. Um, probably oh, I don't know eight or nine pound or something. Um, good little fish, good eating fish. Oh, you can see here I've still got the the other snapper in my hand from gutting it. This all, all happened all happened really really quick. Out of the water, and that was 
a superb dive, just superb. Um, where do I start? Jumped in the water straight away, saw a king swimming round. Um, hadn't even got the gun off the kayak yet or anything like that. That's how quick it was. And um, went and grabbed the gun, loaded the gun. Went down, the king was gone, but uh, managed a uh, nice trevally. Then came back, we swam around for a bit, saw quite a few snapper, and um, finally got onto the craze. I got my six in three dives, it should have only been two dives. Well, I got four on the second dive and then dropped one, but I got mine on three dives, and uh, Chase worked away at it, and he got, he got his six as well. And uh, I said a few muscle or kutai burlies, because there's quite a few kutai there, and uh, picked up that massive John Dory. That thing is a beast. And uh, then I also picked up three snappers. So yeah, we're gonna head in a bit shallower, see if we can pick up our power now, maybe some kinners, and uh, we'll be done for the day. Pull, Chase, pull. <laughs> this is the life. <laughs> That was a cool dive. We got our 10 power each, really easily. Not without worrying. And I added a snapper too, it was swimming around. So, yeah. Chase is just walking us over a shallow patch. And uh, we're nearly back at the car park. Oh. What do you reckon, Chase? Fucking mean, bro. Can't beat it. Can't beat it. Oh. We're back. Oh, I'm pretty pooped, to be honest. But uh, we'll get everything back to the car, load it up, and uh, then we'll show you the haul, because uh, it's pretty impressive. All right, we're back. Made it back. Got met by one of the kaitiaki down there. Looked through our catch and everything, so um, out of respect to him, I didn't pull the camera out and film there, but back where we met up and uh, we've just laid our catch out so uh, here it is pretty epic pretty epic pretty epic we've got I think I think um, 19 power I think we miscounted um, 12 crayfish the massive John Dory this thing is a beast absolute beast um, and we've got four snapper and the trevally and they're all all pretty good size so yeah pretty damn happy pretty damn happy what do you reckon chase i reckon uh, what a an eventful day west is best west is uh providing you know the goods west is best all right we're gonna divide this up Chase is going to take his half, I'm taking my half and uh, carry on our way. So yeah, that's pretty much it for this video guys. Thanks for watching. We'll see you in the next one. Cheers.